Listen, just because you've been in our bag don't mean we won't put you in it. Easy you and Robert Betty Crocker trying to cook a nigga. Hide through your man and you ran and you froze with pistol. If I can't get the drop on you, Stephen Clay gon' get him. You better stay up in the house, niggas dying for nothing. It ain't no reaching for the Glock if you try, I'm a bust you. Every time gang around, niggas know to tuck it. Cause you saw so many niggas, it be hard to trust you. They say, damn, why you always run around with that fire? Cause I done done a lot of shit, it gets spooky at times. I'll try to slide, but he died, he couldn't even drive. Kinda hard to move, I'm off too, think I lost my mind. Ha, fuck, I am kinda stone. Yeah, we caught Tomaze and gave me fan, but he love blowing. Stank got 20 on the night. The waves on the tracks. Me and gang got a hot around this bitch scorching. Cook like a herd, everything got horses. She an angel with a head, call a portion. Chop it like water, yeah, this bitch get the porn. She the outside bitch, not born. Drinking out of body, yeah, nigga ain't porn. Get the rim with the ass, feel like gore. Got a white with a crack, shit source. Bitch wanna have my baby, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Chop it, get the glitch, and sound like. I have his ass missing this game, like, hmm. <laughs> then look at real like he gone and he be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ain't Marvin, but I'm tryna make a mess today. Talking slick, what we finna send a message today? You be singing to these hoes, but you Marvin gay. Got the Glock on me, left drinking Marvin's play. I be smashing on the gas like Hulk on the way to a Marvin's play. Walking down your block like I'm handicapped, shooting shit in the neck, bro. Casey is the town.com. Organized street gangs arrived in Kansas City in the mid 1980s when the drug dealing families of the Waterhouse Posse immigrated from Kingston, Jamaica. The violent Jamaican gangs introduced crack to the inner city neighborhoods. Even in Kansas City, the bloody war is being fought in the neighborhoods. The newest enemy is the Jamaican crack dealer. He seems to be everywhere, operating 24 hours a day with vicious efficiency. What is your name? It all started with uh, violence, with homicide. We had picked up uh, intelligence information early in 1985 that uh, we had a group of Jamaican nationals in Kansas City uh, pushing a new substance to us being crack, cocaine. Dave Barton is the commander of a combined federal and local task force formed specifically to fight Jamaican posses. What kind of money are you talking about? What kind of cash flow? We figure a conservative estimation, one that doesn't seem so outrageous, would be uh, anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000 a day. In cash? In cash, in the metropolitan area. So you're talking about several million dollars a week? That's right. Is it staying in Kansas City? No, it's not. Where's it going? Uh, Miami, New York, Jamaica. This is the Jamaica the tourists never see. And here in the war on drugs lies the Jamaican connection with Kansas City, a connection few understand. Waterhouse, the neighborhood in Kingston from which the Kansas City posse takes its name and its members. The gang has shared political control of this area for years. Almost half the young men who grow up here will never have a steady job. The only career choice for many of them is membership in the gang. Young black Americans in Kansas City's urban core were making unbelievable amounts of money. 14 year olds were buying gold teeth, wearing gold medallions, and rolling around in six fours. Monte Carlo SS's and Corvettes sitting on triple gold Daytons. They were also driving Nissan Maximas on five-star spectrums. Young black gangsters would go to the Bannister Mall and spend thousands of dollars for fun. During the 80s, while the Jamaican Shower Posse members were moving to Kansas City, Crips and Bloods, looking to expand their drug operations, were also headed to Kansas City. The gangs arrived from Los Angeles. They were facing a police crackdown there. Last time I saw you, you told me that you were uh, gonna go to Louisiana. What happened? In neighborhoods rife with drug dealing and violent rivalries, suspicion is everywhere. Hey, my man, is this your car? The wrong car, the wrong face, in the wrong neighborhood. Now, if your sister has no job and you got no job, things must be pretty good with the lotto game, huh? Hey, my man, how much money you got back here? 
So they moved to Kansas City to escape 12 and all of the violence they created in their own hoods. In response to the influx of new gangsters, KCPD started special units like the Career Criminal Unit, KC Nova, and other units that have been unsuccessful at deterring inner city youths from joining Kansas City gangs. The Crips and Bloods were recruiting young men throughout the Kansas City area. Here, without competition from other drug dealers, they could make good money. A kilo of cocaine with a street value of 13000 in Los Angeles could yield a $100,000 profit sold in small quantities as crack in Kansas City. Drive-by shootings in Kansas City, a trademark of the war between the California Bloods and Crips, jumped from 15 in 1989 to 297 in 1990. This is a story about MBK versus Gangway. All my niggas like to ball, bitch. Okay. I won't never leave my blicky cause I'm all in. Okay. I just scored on the script and they was all teams. I could teach you how to slide it, come with five beans. Okay. She ain't tryna throw the pussy, beat her jaws then. Yeah. It's too many of us, Brody, we can't all spin. Nah. I still pop a nigga, I ain't lost it. And I'm off this 40, this is not a blue dolphin. We got drugs in the party. Stumbling in the club, I can't see through these cardies. <laughs> Been up thinking about my brother, I don't get no sleep. Just getting high like damn nigga, why y'all have to leave? Ain't time to cry, hop in a ride, we finna use our feet. And you know we spinning back if they say he breathing. And Brody something like a granny, he'll spank you up. Hell no, nah, don't play with us, we got K's with us. Brody said the ops moving loose, we gon' lay some up. He said he want the car panty, easy spray some up. I know they pop it, they hot, but they ain't hot as this. And Brody quick to pin me up, cause I be dropping shit. D op thing with Arthur, that bitch longer than a hockey stick. And I think she's staring at the drip, you gotta watch your bitch. Damn, I'm so high, I feel laced. Pop couple perk shit, I can't feel my face. It's hard to get you on my head, brother. We spinning every day. A Kansas City teen named Lionel started RHN while attending Hickman Middle. After leaving Hickman Middle, Lionel started going to Ruskin High, where he banged RHN while earning his high school diploma. In 2016, Jason Ugwa Jr., 12, was being educated at Hogan. He started the legendary Gangway while getting his education. By 2021, he was focused on playing basketball and rapping. Jason was a junior at Hogan Preparatory Academy and a standout basketball player. Gangway J recorded a funk classic named Big Body. He also recorded the hit single, Chicken Soup. Jason Jr., a.k.a. Gangway J, has a little brother named Jaden Ugwa. Jaden was a gifted rapper and a talented artist. He can draw you and it will look just like you. Jaden is a creative soul who believes in superheroes. He has big dreams. Jaden Ugwa, 9 and his younger cousin, Montel Ross, eight, were inseparable. On Friday, August the 13th, 2016, Jaden Ugwa and his cousin, Montel Ross, were up playing video games at 1.30 a.m. All of a sudden, two unknown men opened fire on the Ugwa's residence at 57th in college. Jaden heard a barrage of bullets and ran out of his bedroom. When he noticed his cousin, Montel, wasn't behind him, he turned around, ran back to get him, and that's when the boys were shot. Jaden didn't even cry. He got hit and ran and laid under his big brother, Gangway Jay. Jaden snuggled up to him, and when he looked down, at his little brother, Jaden's eyes were open, but it was clear he was no longer there. Jason Ugwa Jr., 12, 
was asleep in another room when Jaden was shot. Jason Jr. did not want to talk on camera. The unknown suspects fired almost 100 rounds before fleeing the scene in a pickup truck. There were six young cousins in the house at the time. A 16-year-old girl was also hit during the shooting, but her injuries were not life-threatening. She was reported as back to school. Both Jaden and Montel were declared dead at the hospital. The neighbors said they heard gunfire on Saturday morning and ducked for cover and were now living in fear. It sounded like two different guns, witnesses said. Montel and Jaden were scheduled to start their second week of school at Hogan Prep Academy. A family devastated after random gun violence left two children dead. Nine-year-old Jayan Ogu and his cousin, eight-year-old Montel Ross, died early Saturday morning. A barrage of bullets came into their home in Kansas City. After Jaden was hit, the bleeding boy went to his 12-year-old brother in bed and held on to him. Jaden died in his brother's arms. But what can I say to him? Because he actually held him. He held his cold body, you know what I'm saying? How do I teach my son to cope with that? And I can barely cope with it. Still no word on a possible motive behind the shooting. Police are asking for the public's help to find the gunman involved. Mm. Lionel graduated from Ruskin High around 2016 or 2017. After he graduated, he co-founded NBK with his brother, Faux Nick. RHN became the legendary NBK. Enough to try to all these niggas saying they gonna step on me. Come on, that's the reason why I keep the Drake on next to me. Yeah, me. Told her I ain't trying to cuff, just put the lips on put me. The lips on Pulled me. up in the hell, cut this bitch tearing this up the bitch street. Tearing up the street. I'ma keep on trapping till a nigga underneath. Underneath. If you need his Zotti, you know you can come you know to me. You can come to me. Oh, he think he hot. We gon' freeze him when we creep. <laughs> my baby, my dog, I see my nigga go three for three. <laughs> Big booty bitch and you know she a freak We she just scored a pint of white, we finna pour some finna key, pour key. Some key, key If he shows cash, then I'm a lash, he sweet Molly beat, just can't big body track, beat, beat, beat Switch beat. on the Glock, got my bullets on repeat Lionel was the drill captain for the marching Cobras But his real passion was gang banging Lionel is the leader of MBK And Gangway J is the leader of Gangway. Lionel is King Op, and Gangway J is also the King Op. Lil Sin, Lil Bino, 45VYG, and Big Body Gangway Kobe are all Gangway. Baby J, Lil Rel, AP Roly, Mud Baby Zay, and Faux Nick are NBK. NBK are South KC. They attend Smith Hill, Hickman Middle, and Ruskin High. Gangway claim 57th in college, and they go to Hogan. Gangway and NBK are ops. They've been funking since 2016. They used to meet up at the Country Club Plaza and have gang fights. That explains why youngsters ages 11 through 18 used to link up on the plaza to funk and the majority of KC didn't know why. Kansas City Mayor Sly James was thrown on the concrete by his bodyguards during one of those legendary plaza gang fights. Sea Baby aka Baby Big Foes from MBK was most hated and well known throughout Kansas City. He was a demon. Since a kid, I guess I was chosen. 762, leave a nigga wide open. Bro just got a piece and he froze it. It'll take a nigga pole off real quick if he froze with it. Only shoot.
shooters in my gang, no hoe niggas. We in chapter three, deep six pose with us. Anti goofy gang, we on bro niggas. What? Brody on parole, got a pole with him. Shit, it's baby birthday, I pull a four with him. Niggas scared when we step out together, cause we hoe niggas. Right. Niggas always jeffing, I don't know niggas. Oh, no. C Baby and Faux Nick are cousins. The ops didn't like C Baby because he was relentless. Baby Big Foes was from the 40s. He used to funk with two times. Two times is from 33rd and Bells, but he's affiliated with Gangway. In 2019, C Baby died from unknown causes. On July the 1st, 2020, Gangway and NBK had a shootout at a convenience store in the area of East 63rd Street and Blue Ridge Boulevard. 12 found Gangway AJ in the parking lot of the convenience store. Another shooting victim who appeared to have a gunshot wound to the left arm was found at a nearby laundromat. Seven other people were found inside of an abandoned building in the Raytown Plaza shopping center where Michael and Sean were found. Video surveillance showed that the three of them had tampered with evidence at the scene prior to 12 arriving there. Michael admitted to being a convicted felon illegally in possession of a firearm. He admitted to shooting at two unidentified men running through the parking lot who he believed had shot the 15-year-old boy, Gangway AJ. Sean never admitted to possessing a gun, but said, someone else was shooting at us first. Don't y'all shoot at niggas when they shoot at y'all? That's how it's supposed to go. He then requested a lawyer, but Michael told 12, Sean and another man also shot at the two unidentified men allegedly running from the scene. Michael F. Richardson, 18, of Kansas City, and Sean Hill Jr., 21, of Grandview, each face one count of unlawful use of a weapon and one count of armed criminal action. Michael has also been charged with unlawful possession of a firearm. Michael and Sean are gangway members. They were ambushed by NBK. One time to the opposition. We see you, gang. The ops took a photo of gangway AJ and posted it on social media and laughed about it before fleeing the scene. On December the 13th, 2020, three people are seen outside of a Jeep at the corner of 98th and Terrace. Shots are fired as more people jump out of a nearby silver SUV and people get into the Jeep while continuing to shoot. With shots still firing, the Jeep began to move before lurching forward onto someone's yard through Christmas decorations before crashing into a car parked in the driveway. Four people in black hoodies ran out the Jeep and got into a silver SUV which began to speed away. In the 40 second video, more than 20 gunshots can be heard. Duran Bandy, 19, was pronounced dead on the scene. His lifeless body was discovered inside of a Jeep. Michael Gibson's home in South Kansas City became part of a crime scene Sunday evening. According to Kansas City Police, people in two separate SUVs started arguing, then they started shooting. In this video, you hear gunshots, then one car ends up in Gibson's yard crashing into his trailer. Several people get out of the vehicle and jump into another SUV. Police found the body of 21-year-old Duran Bandy inside the car that crashed. Police say the crime scene is about a block long, starting on Cambridge Avenue and ending on 98th Terrace, giving people living nearby a lot to talk about. On Sunday, January the 10th, 2021, around 7.30 p.m., Gangway J and two other teens 
were walking to a home from the BP gas station at 40 Highway and Topping Avenue. All of a sudden, an unknown person pulled up and shot Gangway J multiple times before leaving the area. His friends were able to get him back to the house where they called 12. Gangway J was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Last night, 16-year-old Jason Ugwu was found dead after a shooting near Paloma and Topping in KCMO. He was the older brother of another child who died in a shooting several years ago. Police are still investigating the shooting on Paloma Avenue that killed 16-year-old Jason Ugu Jr. Officers found him inside a house on this street a little after 7 last night. Jason was a junior at Hogan Prep. His family says he was a standout basketball player. We met him more than four years ago. He was part of more than a dozen rallies for his younger brother, Jaden who died in 2016 alongside his cousin Montel when someone shot into their house. We spoke to Jaden's mother, Taisha, at that time. This is not just about our kids, this is about all kids and about the, the rights of us humans that we should be able to walk around and not have to worry about being safe. Those murders still have not been solved, though Kansas City Crime Stoppers has increased the reward for information in that case to more than $28,000. After Gangway J passed, his brother, Big Body Gangway Kobe became the leader of Gangway. Tatiana Kopich, 21, from Kansas City, is the older sister of Jason Ugwa Jr., AKA Gangway J. Tatiana was hurt and angry about losing her younger brother. Tatiana is no stranger to loss. Her nine-year-old brother, Jaden Ugwa, and her eight-year-old cousin, Montel Ross, were both killed at her home when she was 16. They were shot by someone outside of the house, and their murderer has not yet been brought to justice. Jason was also home at the time and held his brother as he lay dying. Family members have said this deeply affected both Jason and Tatiana. When you suffer a traumatic event, particularly a violent event, it does something to you. It changes you, especially if you were a witness to it. Tatiana wanted get back for Gangway J. She figured out the car involved in her brother's killing belonged to Keith Lars, 36. On January the 13th, 2021, Tatiana called Keith because she wanted to meet up to settle their differences before Keith and her father killed each other. They linked up in the area of Independence and Benton on Wednesday. Tatiana told Keith to follow her SUV in his vehicle. They both parked in a parking lot when a second black SUV pulled up, but no one got out of the vehicle. Tatiana told Keith she didn't know who was in a third vehicle, at which point he started shooting at it. She went to exit her vehicle and was going to shoot, but Keith told her to stay where she was. Tatiana then fired out of her passenger window at the vehicle and Keith was caught in a crossfire. Keith got blicked in his chest and leg. Witnesses saw a man put Keith into a car where he allegedly drove him to the intersection of Admiral and Virginia where he died. One time for gangway. Bitch you know the gang. Get Back came within 72 hours. That's remarkable. Once arrested, investigators were able to go through Tatiana's phone where they saw a text message to her deceased brother's phone letting them know she'd taken action. I sent the nigga to my brother. I own that body. Say Cheese TV 
shared a social media post about Tatiana Kopich being charged with second degree murder and being held on $200,000 bond. Doug wrote in the comment section, I got 20,000. If they can get her out on 10%, tell her people to get at me. Since learning of the case, the baby and 42 Doug are among those who have used their social media to bring awareness to it. They have expressed interest in raising money to bail Tatiana out of jail. 42 Doug, the baby, Lil Baby, and Yellow Beezy have banded together to cover the bond for a Kansas City woman who allegedly killed her brother's suspected murderer. On Wednesday, January the 20th, 2021, 42 Doug, Lil Baby, Dub Baby, and Yellow Beezy offered up almost 100000 to go towards Tatiana Kopich's bond after she was arrested and jailed for tracking down the man who murdered her younger brother and allegedly killed him herself. Nobody knows if Tatiana has been bailed out or if she is still in prison. Her current situation is unknown. On February the 13th, 2021, Faux Nick and Mud Baby Zay dropped one of the best diss songs of 2021. Mud Baby Zay and Faux Nick was talking about Duran Bandy's Jeep. Beatbox was one of the most disrespectful songs in funk music history. That's another play for NBK. Mud Baby Zay and AP Rowley are NBK. On June the 7th, 2021, Mud Baby Zay and AP Rowley dropped the diss song Law and Order. My eyes be broke as fuck, them niggas ain't never got no pay. Go and pick your mans up, her, he got shot in his face. I smoke Jason by the pound, it's feeling like I'm laced. It's like six to oh, you niggas need to quit the game. They took Hancho from the team since then, ain't been the same. Bitch, I'm dying by my brothers banging in BK. Whole lot of shots with us. Bitch, you out here topping us. My baby don't do Smith, and so you know we got the block with us. Got out the back with smoking dead niggas to the face. Bitches in BK, playing BUA. I just bought my bitch some weave, I put his stenches on the K. JJ smoke a little better, you can throw AJ ass away. If they flip them lights, then it's gonna be a chase. We gonna don't get away, the money, take them on a race. Yeah. that dope when you walk in? We got drugs in the place. What? Throwing salt on the game, we put some slugs in his face. I don't fuck with these niggas, cause most these niggas be fake. Y'all be bragging about stomach shots, and Ellie caught one to the face. We didn't spend that block so many times and made them do the race. They was rapping about smoking Jason from Gangway. They also dissed Gangway AJ. The Law and Order diss started the funk between Gangway and MBK. On Friday, August the 6th, 2021, just after 9 p.m., an unknown person drove up and blicked Lionel several times before fleeing the scene. 12 was called just after 9 p.m. on a report of sounds of gunshots in the 12,100 block of East 43rd Street. When 12 arrived, they found Lionel outside of a business on East 43rd Street, east of Blue Ridge Boulevard. He was suffering from apparent gunshot wounds. Lionel was transported to an area hospital where he was pronounced dead. That's a big one for the ops. After Lionel died, his brother foe Nick became the leader of MBK, gave his gangway. On September the 24th, 2021, Gabriel Williams, AKA Gabe 14, was at a football game between Raytown South and Grandview. After the game, Gabe called his friend for a ride. 
His friend picked them up and they headed towards their destination. The driver overheard Gabe telling someone his location while they were driving in the area of Bannister and James A. Reed Road in South Kansas City. Gabe was let out of the car at a nearby gas station. Around that time, a white Chevrolet Malibu with no front bumper was seen entering the parking lot of a business across the street. Gabe was pacing, then he raised his hands in the air as he looked at the vehicle. Then the car drove past as the sound of gunshots were captured by the surveillance system. Gabriel Williams, AKA Gabe, was shot and killed in the 9500 block of James A. Reed Road in Kansas City. Gabe was pronounced dead on the scene after 12 were called out around 10.30 p.m. on Friday, September the 24th. Minutes after Gabe got deleted, the same Chevy Malibu was seen on surveillance camera backing into a driveway of a residence blocks away from the shooting scene. A search warrant was served on the home three days later. Inside, authorities allege a handgun was found underneath a mattress that was positively identified through the KCPD crime lab to shell casings found at the homicide scene. Charlie was arrested. He denied being involved with the homicide during a police interview. Detectives were also led to the vehicle suspected of being used in the shooting that night. It was reported as abandoned in late September 2021 near the intersection of 40th Street and Overton Avenue. After searching the vehicle, 12 reported finding shell casings on the exterior near the windshield wipers. It was later found to have been sold to a person with the same address as a Marion. A Marion was first arrested in October. He also denied any involvement in the homicide when interviewed by detectives. Authorities allege Lorel was connected to the shooting through tips submitted through the tips hotline. Phone records later reviewed by the detectives allegedly showed the three men were communicating on the night of the killing. Location data from the cell phones associated with the three men showed they were in the area of the shooting scene on the night Gabe was killed. Darrell E. Thompson, 18, of Kansas City is charged with accessory to second degree murder, accessory to armed criminal action, and accessory to unlawful use of a weapon. In May, Jackson County prosecutors charged Charlie D. Adams Bradley, 21, and a Marion Cornelius, 19, in connection with the killing of 14-year-old Gabriel Williams, a.k.a. Gabe. Both Charlie and Amarion are accused of second-degree murder, two counts of armed criminal action, and one count of unlawful weapon use. Darrell E. Thompson, a.k.a. Lil Rell from MBK, faux Nick side, killed Gabe from Gangway. It ain't no secret, MBK scored like 96 Jordan on a fast break. On December the 1st, 2021, Big Body Gangway J released the hit single, Chicken Soup. Big Body Gangway Kobe did Gangway J's verses in the music video. The Chicken Soup music video has 138,000 plus views on YouTube. One time for Gangway for the hit single, Chicken Soup. 
Mud Baby Zay died from unknown causes during the year of 2022. One time for the ops on that play. 45. VYG is a member of Gangway. He is the top op. Lately I've been feeling down, but I'm still living. I'm starting out to feel niggas, Tommy Hill figure. To you, my life probably simple, but it feel bigger. A real artist with this shit, I paint a real picture. Lately I've been feeling down, but I'm still living. I'm starting out to feel niggas, Tommy Hill figure. To you, my life probably simple, but it feel bigger. A real artist with this shit, I paint a real picture. If dude not with me on the daily, then he not my nigga. Rest in peace, my nigga Micah, snake pop my nigga. Play my brother up the road, shackled in them chains. Both they mama shedding tears. But they both got different pains I just talked to Dot today He said he missed the game Don't compare me to no rap nigga We in different lanes My daughter growing up too fast That shit been getting to me Plus my mom's on my line She see a vision through me I got some demons in my body But don't let them show Have I ever caught a body? If I did, you never know My bitch was on no sucker's line I had to let her go Remember you gon' lose her The same way you met that hoe I can't fake about this shit I mean it from my heart You a dog turned rat Used to be my man Now you that type of nigga I can't on October the 19th, 2022, 45VYG died in a shootout. One time for the Ops. MBK is on fire. They got some talented steppers over there. Baby J is a member of MBK. On December the 17th, 2022, Chad J. Williams, 19, contacted Baby J through Snapchat. Chad ordered some za from Baby J. They decided to link up at the Brookside Apartments. Baby J pulled up in a black 300. Chad pulled up in a Nissan SUV with two other people. Two people got out and walked towards Baby J's vehicle. There was a struggle inside of Baby J's car. One of the men pulled out a firearm, fitted with a flashlight and a green laser sight, and blicked Baby J one time in the chest. The two men robbed Baby J for his money and za before leaving the apartment complex. Ten hours later, 12 found Baby J in the driver's seat of a black Chrysler 300. All of the doors were ajar and three fake 20s were on the ground. Chad J. Williams of Independence was charged with second degree murder, first degree robbery, and two counts of armed criminal action and the killing of James D. Smith, also 19 and from Independence. Chad was arrested Tuesday, January the 24th, 2023, shortly after he was seen leaving Truman High School at 3301 South Nolan Road in Independence. One time for gangway on that one, y'all. Bitch, you know the gang. 45 VYG died in a shootout. October the 19th, 2022. It was get back for Baby J. I bag it up and then leave. I'm on to something new. Probably get in a smack out before I hit the roof. I can't with pressure apply. They slide like some truth. You disrespect. The video went viral. Big score for the ops on that play. Comedy gold right there. Man Man is from NBK. On Sunday, May the 22nd, 2022, Man Man's family was having a party for his older sister's high school graduation. It was a milestone that the family planned to celebrate again soon after Man Man finished his senior year at Winnetonka High School. Man Man was a star athlete that loved basketball and football. The teenager aspired to one day take over the family contracting business. On a warm Sunday afternoon, Rashawn Stinson Jr., aka Man Man, 17, 
was having the time of his life. He was riding his dune buggy around and around the block, spinning again, again, and again. All of a sudden, the ops appeared with the switches out. Man Man was shot almost 100 times in three to four seconds. The ops showed excellent marksmanship. Man Man's dune buggy got flipped and he was left lying face down at the bottom of a stranger's driveway. The ops quickly left the area before Man Man could be pronounced dead. The ops were joking about it on social media. After joking about Man Man, flipping his dune buggy for several days, the ops booked a professional studio session to make a diss song about Man Man named Dune Buggy. Dune Buggy by Lil Bino, aka Fallout Bino, is in the top five most disrespectful songs in funk music history. Drop a foot with a sprite to some different shit. He tried to slide on a, we gon' split his wig. They always doing funky shit, tell him spin again. Put a hole in his ass like cinnamon, ayy. We don't go in, it ain't no stopping. I get the drop to the ops, then it ain't no hot. And I got 30 in my clip, so it ain't no slide. And baby Dre was sick, that nigga died while he trying to hide it. Alright, don't get caught on no doom buggy. Catch his ass coming off the bus and then boom, fully. Said, I'm gon' squeeze, ain't no hoe with me. Send lil' ass, empty the clip, he in the wrong city. We in the low, we can't slide, cause my phone near me. I'ma turn it off, we hit your block and then blow switch. This bitch a hoe like what she on, told her don't kiss me. She thought she was sitting on my dick, that's the whole blicky. Knocked him off the doom buggy with a glitch and made a song about it. Chicago gonna have to eat some ketchup. These new Kansas City gangsters are on a whole nother level. Like old dog, I got the tape. You can hear the switches flipping Man Man's dune buggy. I was just shocked because we were having an event, you know? A beautiful Sunday afternoon, quickly littered with crime scene tape. 17-year-old Rashawn Stenson Jr. was riding in his buggy around the block when gunshots filled the air. He had a kid. That's what he was doing that day. That they decided to take his life. He was being a kid, enjoying himself. Enjoying his family. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve to be gunned down like that. He didn't deserve it. And it's just not right. And somebody has to come forward. Somebody sees something. Somebody knows something. Stenson was a football player who loved fashion and his family. And it was family who surrounded him in his final moments. A sunny day and dark and gray as they deal with continued loss. It's hard for our family to have to sit through and go with life. We lost two of our babies before they were 18. So it's hard, hard. Exactly one year apart, two victims of gun violence, one family. At 17, to take so a 17-year-old's life or anybody's life, for all that matters, it's, it's cool, it's evil. An evil they're hoping to root out by finding his killer. My sources are confidential. I'm the voice of Kansas City. When I speak, people listen. Make sure y'all support Black-owned businesses. At the end of the day, MBK and Gangway are Black-owned businesses. Stream and follow MBK and Gangway. They got songs and merch. Jump in their comments and show them some love. Make sure y'all show Gangway J, Lil Sin, Lil Bino, 45VYG, and Big Body Gangway Kobe some love. Make sure y'all show Lionel, Baby J, Lil Rel, AP Roly, Mud Baby Zay, and Faux Nick some love. I'll be keeping you updated with Kansas City's funk scene. Long live Gangway. Long live NBK. Long live Kansas City legends. We got to learn to solve our problems with nonviolence. My heart and prayers 
go out to these families. I'm out of here.